happening, everybody? It is Sunday morning. It's time for another episode of Selling Past Your Expiration Date, Being Thrifty Over 50. I'm your one host, Jay. Uh, and I'm Pig. Hi, gang. What's happening, everybody? Woohoo! Well, can you tell what, what mom's expecting today to happen? Can you see my yeah. broom behind me? <laughs> Calves are going to sweep today, Toronto. And if any Canadians are watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got my oh i got something on my shirt what is that? got a little little bit of i got, poopy, I got my last year championship shirt on so and uh, right. a bird oh. apparently pooped on me at some point what oh i bet you it was, i was brushing my teeth whoops uh, that could be oh you got bleach in your uh in your toothpaste it might bleach uh, you out yeah well i guess i'm doing laundry after the show's over ladies and gentlemen how are you today that might leave a bleach mark, you know, possibly. Yeah, I know. I'll clean it after this show. What's happening, everybody? I see everyone chatting in the chat. How are you today? What's going <laughs> on? Long time no see. Yes, I am blinking. They yes. They want to know blinking. Mom's blinking today. Yes, and she is. No cabbies. <laughs> yeah. okay. For those of you who don't know by now, Mom is a huge sports fan. <laughs> yep. Yep. Love my Cavs and Indians, and even the Browns. <laughs> the clowns. Wah, wah, wah. Well, we had a kind of a decent draft, but you know. Yeah, yeah. It'll be <laughs> it'll be over by uh, preseason. It'll be done. Yeah. By the time they ever get a good team, I don't think Mom will be here anymore. <laughs> oh, golly. So your I hope your there. grandkids won't be here anymore when they win. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> How bad we are. I know, it's Thank so God for the calves. Woo, yeah. go calves. At least they give us some excitement, that's for sure. Hey, maybe the tribe will get there again this year, too. You never know. Yep. Possible. All right. <laughs> so let's get right to it. Mom has some fabric. Do you have that fabric handy, Ma? Uh, yes, I do. Let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, it's a bunch. Hey. Yeah, mom's good. and we showed this. Uh, I think we showed it on your haul from a couple weeks yes, ago. And um, it's uh, I paid 12 bucks for about maybe 12 yards, maybe more. I, I, I've got the measurements, but I think it's 12 yards. And as you can see, it's martini glasses. This is state sale, uh, which is loaded with martini items, uh, whether it was uh, glasses or pictures or it was just all over the house. And I saw the fabric rolled up really nice. And I thought, well, for 12 bucks, it didn't sound like a bad deal to me because Nadine's saying, you get your fabric, you know? So, yeah. so I picked that up, but I did attempt to go and try and do a multiple, but it just didn't work. And I told Jason, I said, oh, we need a show. You try Mom's to do a, you try to do a what? I tried to do a, a listing for the, you know, more yeah, yards. What's, it, what's it called? A multi listing, multi variation listing. I know. Come on. That's the title of our show. And you're like, I tried to do a multiple. Yeah. Well, close. All close. right. Over 50. All right. But I did, I did attempt. At least I attempted. All right. It just wasn't working. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a t-shirt first because I have sitting next to me. They're already listed, but I'll pretend they're not. I have these Betty Page shirts. Mm. So this is Betty Page, Seattle on the back, and then a picture of Betty on the front. Huh? Huh? And um, I have it in uh, pink. And I have it in this pink. And then I have it in... Oh, they're nice. This pink. And for the purposes of this demonstration, as you can see, this one's a little bit different because Betty's on the back. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to pretend that they're all the exact same shirt, just different colors and okay. different sizes. So I'm going to show you because what I have in blue, I have six extra large, seven large, two double extra large. In pink, I have two small and one medium. Mm -hmm. Now, that could be five listings and you will chew up five you know, so if you have freebies, you chew up five of them. If you're paying, you'll pay for five listings or, or you could do a multi-variation listing and have one listing with all the colors and sizes in it together. So let me share screen Okay. and I'll show you how to do it. And then we will also do, um, the fabric. Okay. So here we go. So I'm going to show you something kind of cool that I found out earlier today when I was practicing. So we're going to misspell Betty's name. Okay. And we're going to do just Betty Page t-shirt to get the listing going. So I'm going to click get started. <clears throat> and when I come back up here, if you can see, let me make this a little bit bigger. 
Can you see the squiggly line underneath Betty's name? Yes, I can. I can. So that's eBay telling me, hey, you sure you want to spell Betty with a Y? When in actuality, it is IE. So I'm going to pop over here, and it knows that Betty Page's name is IE. Oh, you guys can't see the pop-up, but the pop-up's there, and now I fixed it. Now, <clears throat> it, this is one of those rare times when I might want to recommend that, that you misspell her name. I have got, I have sold import Betty Page CDs. It's basically music to burlesque strip by. And a lot of times the import companies spell her name wrong with a Y. And I, I guarantee you there's someone watching in the chat right now that thought her name was with a Y. And that's, you know, yep. neither here nor there. But there's those rare times when I would probably, I would lead with the correct spelling and probably the last five words I would have in there is Betty with a Y because some people don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's tip number one. All right. So we are going to do Betty Page. Seattle. This, these are from the Betty Page stores that I think all went out of business. And so it's Betty Page Seattle uh, V neck t shirt. And then uh, for now, I'll just put Betty here. I'm okay. not even going to fill up all the titles because that's, you know, this, this show is about learning titles. This is about learning multi variation. Mm -hmm. And coming down here, they have suggested some uh, categories. Well, they, I don't want a unisex because th these are definitely a girly cut shirt. Uh -huh. And so we're going to search categories. So I'm going to put in a ladies t shirt. I probably should have done women's. Let's see what it does. Uh, but, 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 uh, women's clothing, women's clothing t shirts. There we go. So that's the one we want. And click submit. Okay. Okay, so in my store category, I'm going to put uh, women's clothing. These are my specific store categories. And uh, this doesn't have a UPC, so it does not apply. And these were new because the store has got closed out, but I have no tags. So this is new without tags. Can I have and, one uh, question before you go on? Yep. Okay, back up there where you put in women's clothing as your category. Yeah. You always have to fill in the second one or you can just have one. No, you just have one. That's just your personal store categories. Okay. Uh, I see someone said, what are your thoughts on putting emojis in titles? Uh, only if you're a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> no, you do not want emojis because that is not a normal searchable word or character. And that will, when people are Googling it, it screws it all up. So do not do that. All right. So uh, where the hell is my multivariation? Ah, oh, right here. Variations. Create variations. So here we go. Okay. Okay. So size type. Uh, these are a regular cut. So we're all good there. And like I said, we have extra large, large, double X, small, and medium. So we want small. And you're just clicking them. Medium, large, extra large, and double X. So as you can see on the right, there are all our options. Material, these are uh, cotton, uh, so I don't need to have a multi-variation, but I do want to add color. So let me add color. So oh. you, you just click the Add button, and you could add your own attribute, or you can you could also see what they have here. They have size, type, color, material, and sleeve style. These are all the same sleeve style. So for color, uh, I do have blue, and I have two pinks. So I'm actually going to create my own so I can be very specific. So I'm going to put uh, bright pink. And click add and then i'm going to put this is more of um i don't know maybe more of a coral and i'll just put i'll just put light pink okay just for, just for you know this ain't gonna be real listing but just to show everyone like, yeah and add okay so there we go so now we have all our sizes and our colors all right so we click continue and uh, let's see, I don't have any photos, but I'm going to need to list some. All right, but first I want to come down here. We want to do the multi-variations, all right? So uh, quantity of, I have in the light pink, I have one medium, okay? Okay. So light pink right here, medium. Uh, I have a quantity of one. And I don't have any other light pinks, so I don't want this light pink small, okay? So I'm getting rid of it. 
and everything stopped. You still hear me? Uh huh. Okay. Well, my screen won't scroll now. Oh so, dear. So hang oh. tight. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. Yeah, it, it won't scroll. So, hey, I'll check the chat. Hey, chat, what's going on? Yeah, let me see if there's any questions over here. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. All right, hello. Hello. All right, see if you can fix that, Jason. Well, that's I'm weird. Going back to, uh... Oh, I just sold something. It's not that nice. I had a cha-ching, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, Looking through the chat. Thank you so that the fabric is cool. Yeah, I think uh, I might even use Mad Men in there. I, I can't, am I allowed to use Mad Men in the title or is that? No. no. Okay. Come on now. Yeah, well, I know. I've been, I was trying. Yeah, <laughs> trying. You're trying to keyword spam and get in trouble? No, I don't want to do that. But I did get some nice help on my gravel art. Um, gosh, and I'm so sorry I forgot the girl's name who found it for me. She happened to be watching Mad Men and she saw the gravel art of my uh, tribal people that I showed uh, last last week or yeah, I think last week. Yeah. And uh, so I have the property their their uh, market market people. Yeah. So it was really uh, it was really nice of them, and I was able to go in and uh, make my adjustment. So thank you very much for the help, uh, right. Drifting Board. As always, you guys are great. I'm putting you on the screen until I get this back to where I was. Oh, that's fine. Sorry, guys. You know how that goes. There we go. So there's that. I had a busy week myself. I was um, at birthday parties for my granddaughters coming uh, that I had at the house last week. So that kept me occupied. And my daughter graduated from the University of Finley this past weekend. She's now a doctor of physical therapy. So we went back to college <laughs> to see her graduate. So... And then, of course, I had to do a little thrifting while we were in the area. So um, Dad and I went and went through a nice, big, large antique mall. And I'll show you a couple of the goodies I found a little later in the show. So we'll have that for you. And how are we doing, JT? Getting there, Well, man? I'm getting back to where I was. And then we'll see if the – because somebody else in the chat said they've had that scrolling issue before, too. So – Freezes um, up, huh? Yeah. So okay. – let me see if I can pull it off this time, and then yeah. then we'll move on. So, hang tight. Oh, thank you, Cheryl Hinton. Yeah, I got uh, I got some kids doing some great things these days, so it's kind of nice. Kind of nice. I think I have a way around this too. If it don't work this way, all right, cool. All right. Yeah, Rosita Ogden says that the scrolling always stops for her too. Bummer, bummer. Okay, so here's your way around it. Just put a zero okay. in. Instead of deleting it, just put a zero in. Okay. Okay. So in smalls, in the smalls are in bright pink only. So in my bright pink small, I'm going to put two. Ooh, okay. See that. Hmm. So any place else you see bright pink, I'm putting a zero. 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 Yeah. So in other words, don't don't delete it because that seems to freeze it up, yeah. huh? Yep. Okay. So in my light pink, I have one medium. One medium in the light pink. So I don't have any of these. Okay. Light pink medium, I got one. And then in place else I see light pink, I am putting a zero. Good, good, good. Now, of course, it should be that you can delete these, but apparently that scrolling issue is an issue. So this mm -hmm. is kind of a workaround, and, and I'm glad I'm, I'm kind of glad it happened because yeah. and everything you work on, if there is that glitch that stops you, there is usually a workaround. It's not as streamlined as it should be, but, you know, oh, well, you got to do what you got to do. Okay, so in the blue, we have seven large. So uh, I don't have any blue smalls. I don't have any blue mediums. And in large, we have seven. And then we have six extra large. And six, and then two double X. Okay. Nice. So that is that. All right. This now, is the first time I've ever seen this, Jason. For so this mom. is just a picture I just threw up there. It's obviously not a t-shirt. Right. Oh, it doesn't even like the size of my picture, so. Because <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> no, no, it was just a small picture. So oh, let me. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's better. That's a bigger picture. <laughs> there we go. We'll pretend that is the the. Uh, the T-shirt. Yep. Okay. So we'll save the changes. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, where is my UBC? All right. So the brand is not Betty Page. It's the brand of the shirt. So you want to make sure you do that. Yeah. It is all style. Right. Don't make that mistake. Uh, those of you who do t-shirts, there is definitely a difference. Definitely. This is a regular size type. Oh yeah. Come on, UPC. That's why I like listening through a th listening through a third party because I don't ever have these glitches. <laughs> huh. Yeah, where is it? Where did you go? I don't know. So here hang out. Let me add to this. Um Seattle V neck church and then Betty misspelled. Okay. All right, so uh, style is basic tee, uh, graphic tee, material is cotton, sleeve style is uh, 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 just a regular short sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you show me where the UPC feel is, I'll fix it, you stupid I listener. Know. I know, isn't that crazy? It should be at the top, but it isn't there. I know. So this, hmm. is, going, this is going horribly wrong because of eBay. Yeah. eBay, you're you're hurting me right now, buddy. Yeah, somebody's asking me the UPC. Oh yeah, the UPC is in the variation. Thank you, whoever just said that. I just uh -huh. you're right. Sherry goals. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah. Thank there you, we go. Thank you. Does mm -hmm. not apply. Does not apply. Does not apply. All right. Thank you. All right. So you have to fill that in on every one. Apparently. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Because there's multiples and not just the one. That's yep, why. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. As Got you it. can see, I've not done one of these in quite a while, but. <laughs> uh oh. So painful sometimes. I know, honey. <laughs> but it's good that these things happen because I'm sure other All people right. run into the same problems, you know? Yep. Okay. Coolio, coolio. All right, and then you know, just a quick short description, um, and then and I would actually talk about the different versions here. So, um, shoot Betty Page t shirt, uh, in blue, light pink, and bright pink. Unworn. V neck. Oops. From the closed Betty Page Seattle store. Okay, and that's it. No, nothing Is exciting. You, you use unworn rather than new now? Well, on this one, um, there's no tags. Okay. So. I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying not to oversell it. I mean, it is new. It has not been worn. So that's what I was doing unworn. Okay. Okay. All right. So you can see we have a quantity of 18 right here and we are going to send it on its way. So you can see what it looks like after the fact. I'm, I don't even care what my, my weights are right at this moment. Cause I'm going to end this listing as soon as we're done showing it. So let's list the item. And then you will have, oh, good gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't give it a price. Yeah, that would probably help. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. The price is here, too. Duh, duh, duh. Okay. So these were um, these were a closeout I got for, I think, a quarter a piece. Oh, nice. 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 Oh. Okay, let's try it now. Okay, there's a question here, a question here that says, do you need to add a different picture representing color for each variation? Yeah, so I would absolutely have all the colors. And yeah, so now even though that scrolling screws us up, it's gonna it, it's gonna make me remove the ones that say zero. It won't allow zero to even be an option. So Okay. Oh uh yeah so let's select all the ones that are zero and we'll delete them all at once and maybe maybe we can uh continue on da, da. 
I would do for your first, and I'll click delete. Yep. What I would do for your first picture is have a shot of both of those, uh, you know, the blue. Well, actually, I'm sorry, all three, the blue and the two pinks. All right. This should work now. <laughs> How we doing? Oh, this looks better. Yay. Okay. So when you now go to this listing, you will have these options of selection. So if you go to small, the only color it's going to give you is bright pink. Uh -huh. If you go, um, uh, if you go to extra large, the only color it's going to give you is blue. So there you go. You would select blue, and it says six available, zero sold, and then you, you know your customer will click buy it now. All right. Now I'm going to look at the chat. Now we actually finally finished it. Good, good, any, good. any questions on that? Yeah, I don't check for mobile friendly. Most if you're listing on eBay, it is already per, is already ready to go for mobile friendly. So don't worry about that. Unless that was a question to something I did not see. But that's how you do multi variation. Uh oh, cop activity on the trail behind my house. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What's going on? What's going on? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so that's how you do multi variation. So now you only have one listing. You only listed. You only use one listing slot. And you mm -hmm. didn't have to use uh, six, um, one, two, five different listing slots. Yeah, that's really nice. This will help me down the road. I know. All right. So if there's not any questions on that. I'm going to end this listing, and then we're going to go over to do mom's fabric, or at least we'll, we'll work our way through it, because the the multi variation on products that could have it, it it's kind of intuitive. In I, I was practicing with material earlier. And it knew that I could be doing it by the yard, by the half yard. So we're going to go show that right now. Okay. okay. Uh, Brenda wants to know, my listings are mobile friendly. How do I get that to happen? Uh, eBay gets that to happen. eBay wouldn't allow you to do a listing on their platform and not have it be uh, optimized for their mobile. So everything works just fine. Plus, most of the third-party listers have optimized for the mobile, too. And I just found out the way I use Inkfrog, which is the third-party lister I like. I'm all, you know, usually I'm at the front of the technology, and this time I'm way behind. I didn't like, I don't like their new version. It's called Inkfrog Open. Uh, but I've been just told that starting in June, when eBay removes the active content from our listings, the only way to do it properly on Inkfrog is to switch over to Inkfrog Open. So I have to get out of Classic, my beloved Classic, and move to Open. All right, there's a question in the chat, honey. I want to know is how important is it to use the hyphen in the in t-shirt? Uh, I love uh, I, I like the uh, aesthetically pleasing look of t-shirt with a with a hyphen. That's just my personal Yeah, it doesn't take up a character, so you know. Yeah. yeah. You would have that space anyway, so you might as well use the hyphen. So they're saying many aren't mobile friendly. Well, let us look at my listing on my mobile, shall we? Sherry Gold says she uses T, T-E-E -E for T-shirt, I'm assuming. I, I wouldn't use T-E-E. -E. That's because um, you're taking up spaces that you usually could use. Right. I, I use just the letter T hyphen shirt. Yeah, I'm looking at my listing on mobile. It's fine. Hmm. Let me bring my cursor over here. Yeah, so here's the listing, and when I go to description, description looks normal. No, that's good. So those of you who are saying it doesn't work for you, what uh, what's happening to yours? So when you go look at yours, what's wrong with it? What's it look like? Or you know, All right. Uh, and yes, the hyphen and t-shirt does not screw it up because it's, it, beca it becomes all one word. If there was a space, it would screw it up. So if you would have done T space dash shirt, then yes, that would screw it up. But T dash shirt becomes one word. Okay. I think we've covered everybody. Okay. So those of you who are mobile checking every listing, let me tell you how many mo listings I've mobile checked. Zero. <laughs> what, what's happening? What are you seeing? And is, is this something we have to... Um, Bobby's wanting me to do the mobile check just to show us. I, I'll tell you what. I don't know how to do the mobile check. I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done it. Every once, every once in a blue moon, my listings will be a little wonky because I use an old listing. And, and since you all keep an eye on my listings, one of you always alerts me right away. Hey, your listing's wrong. So I fix it up real quick. 
But yeah, so let me look at the chat. Okay, yeah, here's uh, Tenor says there's a link above the description box that lets you check for being mobile ready. A link above the description box. So in the description box in the actual listing or in the edit? Because here, here, I'm on my description box. I see nothing about mobile. I do see the, the uh, information about active content. So there it is. And it'll preview it. Did you see Gypsy Sparrow's uh, uh, message? She says, in description, would you say you had one blue, extra large, two pink smalls? No, because you would then have to edit it every single time someone bought one. And, right. and you don't want to do that. Hell no. Okay, in edit. All right. Every time you sell one, it automatically edits, I assume? Oh, of course. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. So go. They, they're telling me in the edit. Sure, I'll have that. We have a question here from Sarah Cooper. If you do that. Ah, I see it now. Yeah, I don't care about this. All of you who are doing it over and over, don't. Stop. I, I am guessing this is a glitch. I just don't believe that eBay would allow you to list an item and have it not be ready to go. And as you saw, it looks just fine mm -hmm. on the uh, on the mobile already. Mine looks just fine. There's no scrolling needed. Because fix it for me, what's it going to do? Okay. Yeah. So, so now, what it's showing on the screen that it fixed it. Now, look, this is before the fix. Hang on a minute. This is before the fix. It looks like that already. So those of you, ah, as I, as I break my phone to show you, ah, crap. Yeah, we lost it. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay. So that's exactly already how it looked. There's no scrolling. It looks fine. So quit doing that. Stop it today. There you go. There you go. All right, Kara says, I want to sell scrap individually. Is there a limit to how many generations? All right. No, I, I don't think there's a limit. I don't, but I've never had a product that pushed the limits. You know, usually I've, if I, the few times I've had to use it, it's been like 30 products or less, give or take. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Look, I did, I did $6,000 in sales last month, including 2000 in a weekend. I ain't worried about it. And, uh, right. I don't think you should be either because apparently somehow my stuff's getting sold without me ever doing this ever. There's a, a remark here from Nelson. It says it looks fine because you have a short line. Okay. Well, if you're writing long sentences, then you're doing it wrong. Right. You should be having short lines. Boom, boom, boom. That's how your listings should all look. You should not be pretending it's 2000 and writing a whole story. I found this at a, an estate sale under the table. I blew the dust. No. Short lines. Yeah. That's how you write a listing. Right. And plus, yeah. plus, ain't no one reading long, long descriptions. You can't get them to read short ones. They sure ain't reading long ones. I'll tell you right now. When you're doing your description, everyone in the bottom, don't keep don't going keep across the whole thing. I I do about five or six words. Go to the next line so that if, so that if they find it on the they can see it. They can see it. Easily. So Rebecca, so Rebecca said, so Jason, why does eBay have the mobile checkbox if they're already optimizing the listings? Rebecca, they still have the keywords per your category in your store and they don't use that anymore because a lot of times it is just, uh, some things just don't even go away. They don't die off because it would cost money to program that stuff out. And so they don't see it as important and they just don't do it. Like when you, when you, cause someone just brought this up yesterday. When you go look at the keywords, it's called, um, oh shoot, is that called meta tags too? You used to be able to go per store category in your store and give each store category keywords. Well, then it stopped getting searched. So you can have words there. You can not have words there. You can have wrong words there. It don't matter because they don't use that anymore. So sometimes they don't use parts anymore. And uh, I've been told that Inkfrog does it automatically. So there is another reason you should be using a third-party lister. I don't like listing on eBay. It's too slow. 
And every time there's an eBay glitch where people are like, oh my God, I can't list today. When I list on Inkfrog and, and, and click send, it pushes it right through. So anytime eBay's having a glitch, Inkfrog pushes it through. Plus it saves all your listing, all your pictures for infinity. And those of us who thrift, uh, you know, I have found, uh, I have found this, well, here, there's an actual live example. I have sold this mug before. I have two now sitting on my desk. So when I go to Ingfrog, I just pull up my Tommy Bahama rum mug listing, make sure that it looks exactly the same. There was no different to the difference to the product and I can relist with in a second. Does that make sense, everybody? All right, so I guess I'm, I guess I'm close, real bad. You You're sounding a little weird. You got headphones handy? Yeah, I do. I'll change. Yeah, so uh, it didn't change the me, me making it mobile friendly didn't change the look at all. So uh, if you're writing short lines like you should be, you shouldn't have to worry about it. You know that that's uh, that's all I got to say about that. And I will save this. So I'll, I'll look at it again here in a second when Mom's doing uh, her haul. Okay. Uh, or, yeah, her haul, and I'll look at it again to see if it looks any different. Actually, I'll take a screenshot of what it looked like before I fixed it. And then I'll take a screenshot after the oh. fix and see if it looks any different. All right. Can How is it now, everybody? Is the echo gone? Yeah. Okay. You, start you sound better. I hate these things. They always fall out. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. Better. Better. I think. Hey. All right. So let's, uh, l let's go, um, let's go create a listing for, uh, material. Yes. yes. Okay, so um, well, here. you don't need to see my ugly mug. Duh, screen share. Okay. All right, so what uh, is there a brand to that material? Oh, no, there is not. Could not find any. You know, you know, um, uh, what, what is it cotton is it what is poly do you know that can you figure it's that out cotton it is cotton it's so weird some people hear an echo and some don't that makes no sense crazy say say something ma uh checking 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 yeah i say i hear a little bit jason that's but uh, there truly really makes no sense that like half the audience does not hear it and yeah. half hears it all right let me let me see if I can find headphones and uh, I will try to. So, okay. okay. My, my, if for those of you who don't know, my office is a hot mess right now because my computer um, right. got returned to Apple after a year and they gave me all my money back and ordered a new one. So, I'm kind of, everything's kind of like just kind of barely rigged with duct tape and spit right now. <laughs> and, uh, how about uh, that? Right, so we I think that. you sound, I think sound better. better. Oh, maybe. Hello. Hello. Check, check, check. All right. How's this? Are we better, everybody? Hopefully. <laughs> Somebody said echo just means more peg. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. Who was <laughs> a uh, Bruce? Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> All right. So those of you who are hearing echo, are you done hearing the echo or are we still echoing? Hex volume is good, but light echo, one said. Good now. Good now. Okay, cool. Let's truck it on. Okay. All right. So, Mark, so what, do you, what do you think the fabric is? Cotton. Now, uh, forgive me for my title. I've not done fabric in in multiple yards, so I don't know what Nadine would say to do at this point. So, okay. and that's not that's and that's again not the point of the listing as our title. The point of the listing is multi variation, and we're this one's pretty good because it automatically realized because we've typed cotton fabric that we should be in the crafts fabric uh, category. So there we go. Okay. Um, ba, ba, ba. so I'm just trying to think of other keywords you would use for this mom martini cocktail lounge cotton fabric. Um, can, you, can you use uh shake and not stirred <laughs> or not? Yeah, yeah, well, unless. Unless, unless the Fleming estate owns a uh, copyright of that. So I don't know about that. Yeah. I'll double check. 
So I don't know if you put multiple yards in the title. I don't know. And this is where I wish Nay was around because we would definitely ask her. But again, right. again, we're rolling on. Sorry. So create variations. And so uh, this one, we're only think we're only looking at it by the uh, uh, length amount. So we could do it by the yard, by the half yard. You think you have twelve yards? Mm -hmm. So we'll do it by the yard because I can't imagine um, most people buying anything less than a yard. I mean, I, I obviously, as you can see, by the half yard it was an option. Mm -hmm. uh, by the yard, let's add a photo again. We'll just use what we just used before, just to get a photo in there. Did you delete that? listing jason that we just did not yet someone buys okay. it i mean all the shirts are sitting here yeah <laughs> uh so no upc and then by the yard is 12. okay so save and close and that's it well that's easy enough yeah so obviously you got to be able to cut the yard cleanly right so right. That, that is something you must think about but this way um this way people can order it by the yard so they can order you know well i don't have i don't even i guess i gotta stay another um unbranded mm -hmm. let's go cotton i want to get this listing up just so i can show you guys uh okay. page and uh, da, 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 color fast they want to see the fabric again okay i'll get it all right hang on let me uh let me pop you up on the screen and now all you're right. up Okay, here we go, guys. <clears throat> Gotta get as close to the camera as I can. If you could see those tiny little martini glasses with an olive. Oh, olive would be a good word too, Jason. Yep. Yeah. Vodka, and, uh, vodka martini and all that kind of yeah. thing. So that's the one side. The other side, the underside, kind of cool in itself, even though it's, you know, not the, the uh, martini glasses, but the inside is, can you see that? It's kind of pretty. Yeah. Pretty. yeah. So I, I, I've now, uh, I've kind of skipped most of the uh, uh, specifics because, just because mm -hmm. I get the listing up. Yeah. So, um, it is shirt type material, right? It's not like upholstery type? No, I, it's upholstery type. Definitely upholstery. Oh. Type. I'm sorry. My, 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 my bad. That's all right. Yep. So, so definitely, definitely you want upholstery in your title. Yes. Oops. And for those of you who don't know, I did pay twelve dollars for all of that. In case you're late to the, uh, the one dollar a yard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, Cheryl wants to know if it's reversible. It could be reversible, but then you lose the you know martini glass uh, pictures. But if they wanted the stripes, they could. Yes, Sabrina, that would look good on bar stools. You know, anybody with a, a, a mar martini bar? Yeah, that would look yeah, really good. fabric perfect for the martini drinker's man cave. There you go. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, I did not uh, do the price. So uh, back to where we are again. So the price per yard will be right here. So we'll say, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'll make it ridiculous right now so no one buys it from me. <laughs> <laughs> $100 a yard, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. What a sale. And yes, I'm using up two of my free listings just to show you guys how to do things. Okay. That's how it works. Yeah, that's huh? a good idea. Uh, um, Sandy said, do a corner fold in your picture to, to show both sides. Great idea. Thank you yep. very much. Excellent. Sandy. I like that. All right. So here's, you can see their only choice is by the yard. And actually, we could have done by the yard and by the half yard. And then right here, it says 12 available. And you could put in, you know, six, seven, whatever, seven, whatever you want. Okay. And that's how you would buy it. So if someone put in seven, they'd be charged uh, seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Minus seven cents. Okay. So as yeah. you guys can see, uh it is not that hard, kind of easy. Mm -hmm. Um and uh you know, if you if you if you go to do it, if you have a product that you have multiples of and you get a little stump, just throw it in the thrifting board. Uh we'll be I'll be more than happy to help. Plus, you know, if you gotta write up something like upholstery fabric, I yeah. Uh, you're going to have to ask Nay or somebody else. Just asking the group. Someone else has sold it already. I have not sold it, and I have not sold it that big. Everything I have bought, we have just sold it as the piece. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is my first time for such a large piece myself. Third so. group. Yeah. Um, just, wondering, just wondering if it is cotton, did I try burning it to see if it melts? I did not. <laughs> yeah, so the burn test will help you too, Ma. Yeah, yep, yep. I will check it. 
Okay, so I totally forgot to set up your scores of the week. So we're going to do your haul first. <laughs> oh. So while okay. you're doing your haul. But I as always, this. before we get to that, we do have one segment that separates the front of the show from the back of the show. And that is the Mama's Boy segment. Each week I share a picture of a either cute and or embarrassing photo of me, young, middle, or older. And this week, uh, Mom and I used to work for the same company, Varsity Spirit Fashion. So this was from a Varsity Spirit Fashions event, if I'm not mistaken, right, Ma? Uh, well, uh, which one you? Got? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, that I wasn't sure which one you were using. Yes, that was. Yep. So it was uh, it was party night, and uh, I'm guessing the theme was '70s or disco. So here we are. Yes, I have no facial hair, and boy, my chest hair is out and proud. <laughs> <laughs> I love the pants that we found for our yep. costume. Look at that. Look at the <laughs> fringe on my vest. <laughs> <laughs> I like the the, uh, the wig, the Afro wig. Yep. Yeah, it's so yeah. cool. I yeah. lightened up the picture a little bit. I wish this picture would have been taken with a little more lighting. because I know, uh, I know. You definitely miss the Afro. Yep. Uh, let me, the uh, definition isn't there, you know, honey? Look at that face. I think I had a little mustache, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mom was a little thinner back then, too. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Bradley said, oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> bow chicka bow wow. Yep. That, that's what's fun about mom's old pictures because so much of my old pictures are things we're selling today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know how much this outfit would go for right now on eBay? I Holy know. moly. That, that I vest know. and those pants are on fire. Oh, I know. I mean, you know, I, I should go through the costume box, Jason. That would be a good show. Mom has a bunch of old yeah. costumes packed away. I'll bet they're worth a lot of money. <laughs> All right, okay. so let's right. Uh, let's flip it up. Let's do Mom's Hall. I will go set up all the scores for this week, okay. so Mom's going to show you her haul. All right, here we go, everybody. Um, let's see. Let me get myself on screen here. There we go. Okay. Uh, we found another uh, fountain uh, uh, um, faucet. Whoops. Where am I? Oh, hello. Down here. Yeah, who, who are you showing? <laughs> I, was, I, was at, I was at the wrong wrong thing. Uh this is, this is not as a good of a faucet as we normally have picked up, but we always buy these at garage sales because they're pretty much cheap, you know, things that people have had around. This is an aqua source. Uh, we picked it up for three bucks. I've got it up only for 20 bucks. Uh, I asked dad if we should have done more, but he, he felt uh, from what he saw on his research that, you know, 20 bucks was probably about what we're going to get for it. So. But it is brand new in the box, and I, and of course I never open these. Everybody, you just you know you just sell them as they as they come. Okay, a um, couple of treasure craft items, Jason, and I'm debating about whether or not to sell these together. Bush Gardens and and just a, just a yeah just an apple. Of course, you know Treasure Craft has their their logo on the back usually. Yeah, that might not be a bad uh, duo. Yeah, I mean they're they're both apples, just that one says you know Bush Gardens, and they're both all made in the USA. There we go. Can you see that? As as always. Yep. Now, I'm I'm thinking of pairing these together. I mean these were only a dollar a piece, so you know I don't know, twenty bucks. What do you think? Too cheap? No, I mean because you know it's not tiki. Uh, yeah, Bush no, Gardens is okay, but if you find a place that doesn't exist anymore, you can usually command a little bit of a higher dollar too. Okay. All right. Um, and here's one other treasure craft piece. And this one, you know, Jason, it's got the Hawaiian lay around the bottom. Do you think this is supposed to be a volcano? Huh. I was, I was gonna say sombrero. Uh, that's what <laughs> but see, a that's sombrero what with a lay. <laughs> but it's got can, can you can you see the lay? I mean, oh, I see it. yeah, I see it. Yeah. So that's why I, I'm thinking volcano. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but see, I, I didn't want to sell this one with the apples. I was going to do this one separately. I mean, it probably only bring around ten bucks or so. I'm, I'm guessing, but you know, we'll see. All right, so that's some treasure crap pieces I came across. I found this. It's an Elvis button from his television special yeah. back in 1990, and it's it's all certified here on this little card and everything. Um, but I haven't had time to do any research. So I, you know, I'm going to guess maybe 10, 15 bucks on a button, probably not much more, but it was 50 cents. So, you know, can't hate that. Okay. Then I have these whole package that I bought for a dollar. I'm sorry. I should have had them out of the package, everybody of vintage travel brochures. Oh, cool. Yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of good old, old timers in here, everybody. 
Washington, D.C. Hey, look at this one, Jace. You'll appreciate this. A oh, little Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, cool. Yeah. South Dakota. So I'm going to group them all together. Oh, this this is a good one. I don't think this is, is, is the Enchanted Forest there anymore, or is it long gone? Uh, you know, but, but we're gonna know. Have to, we have to look that up. I took the kids there. They've been there uh, when they were when they were young. Um, I I just don't know if it's there anymore. I'm not too sure. We'll have to find that out. Uh, Jungle Larry Safari. Of course, Jungle Larry is no longer. He passed away, but that used to be quite an attraction here. He down in Florida and in Ohio because he used to be at Cedar Point. For those of you who remember Cedar Point, and um, yeah. oh, Dinosaur Land, Shenandoah Valley. Cool. That's yeah, those cool. are really neat. I know. So we got some good old ones in here. Uh, so I'm just going to put these all up as a group and, you know, and let them fly. So, and that was a whole buck. You know, uh, came so Sabrina gives a shout out to your manicurist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will let her know. <laughs> yeah. And Sabrina's a former manicurist. So she goes, oh, your manicurist oh. does a good job. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, um, I got some big, uh, well, here, let me go through this first. Uh, we're, we're taking a chance. Dad and I are, 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 I hated to say this, but our MC Sports uh, Sporting Goods Store went out of business here in Chardon. So Dad and I went out in there the last, uh, today, this weekend. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> this is a heavy one. Okay, there we go. Um, so we went in to see what they had left because it was 80% off of everything plus an additional 10%. So it was kind of crazy. So we went ahead and purchased a pair of brand new ski boots. And I'm sorry, guys, these are kind of awkward and heavy. And by the time the smoke cleared, the pair cost us $36. And they're brand new. There we go, as you can see. And uh, for, so for $36, bucks, we have put them up for $199.99. So I'll keep you posted on those and see if I get any tickles at all. Um, tickle, but, tickle, tickle, tickle. Yeah. I mean, you know, like I say, we, they had a few more pair, but mom was a little leery. We've never done ski boots before, and I'm not sure if they, you know, sell well or don't sell well. But being brand new, I thought maybe they might. Okay. Your dad picked this up. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to try and tilt this forward. It's 66 pieces of John. <laughs> why, why do I feel like it's going to be tilted forward and be dumped out? <laughs> yeah, I know. 66 pieces of John Deere die cast toys. Oh, wow. And I tell you, these things sell for good money. Um, we put them up for $69 and we paid a dollar because I'm telling you, just some of the separate little cars alone, you know, cost some big money. So, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're hoping for some takers on that. Okay, I just looked uh, at my Betty Page listing. Uh, yeah. Optimized, it looks exactly the same. Well, see, there we go, everybody. And your dad bought this for a quarter, but it's it's not an original. It's just a repro, so I don't think we're going to get much money out of this Charlie's Chips can. Oh, I remember when he used to come to our house and bring I us know. chips. Stuff. Yeah, we, we used to have it all the time, but I, I wish I would have the originals. This is just um, uh, just a repro, everybody, so I think, uh, I think Daddy got taken on that one. <laughs> now... <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him I said that, everyone. <laughs> uh, I happen to be going through some things in my basement. And, of course, a lot of you know that uh, I've been selling a lot of my buyer's carolers. I came across the book that I had purchased, and this is from 1990. So this is a vintage one. Uh, and it's in really excellent condition because I, I basically would just set it out on my coffee table at Christmas time. And at this present time, I think I can get between uh, 25 and 40 bucks, just depending. If I probably, if I wait closer to Christmas, I probably have a better chance to get a little more money out of it. But, um, you know, that was, but now the other thing that I, I have. Hey, hey, hold on. How do you know it's a repro on the uh, Charlie Chips? Oh, it's, it looks, it looks brand new to me. I mean, it, it just doesn't look old at all. And, and just the, the, the uh, even the painting on it. We'll see the bottom. Uh, yeah, there you go. That tells you it's yeah. new. Nutrition yeah. facts. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I forgot about that. But yeah, you, you know, it's the same thing when I used to collect Coca-Cola tr uh, trays, and I can spot a, a, a reproduction a mile away from the originals. They're just a, such a definite look. And as soon as I saw this, I told Dad, I said, oh, Dad, honey, that's not old. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. I might you use it for uh, a collecting of junk. <laughs> 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 yeah. So also, getting back to the buyer's carolers, when I was going through uh, and found that book, I kept a ton of the old brochures that would come out, oh, di different times of years, you know, whether, whether it was on the holidays or Thanksgiving. 
And I'm going to put these up for sale, guys, because there's some good old ones in here, you know, showing the carolers from way back when. And the nice thing about them is they are dated. Like this particular one was 1999. And, they, you know, they send you this little thing, and then they, they it opens up, and it shows you the carolers that they're going to be, ha you know, available, you know, for sale. So there's a lot of good old information in here. You know, plus they get to see, you know, what they did look like. And uh, there's a, I also found... <laughs> a lot of my old receipts of my, my carolers. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so I have those, and those are, you know, dated way back. And there's um, also a pricing sheet from way back when that I found. So, you know, so I've got some things here. I think I'm just going to do a grouping and, and put those up for sale uh, on that. Okay, now i got to turn the computer. We have a couple of big items. <laughs> you know, oh, jeez. <laughs> here we go with our big items, everybody. Okay. All right, let me see here if I can get the camera. I know we're going to be shooting into my window. Can you see the Kool-Aid stand at all? Yeah, it's a little blown out, but yeah, I yeah, can totally yeah. see that. Wow. <laughs> of course, hey, the grandchildren. Hey, angle down a little bit. Angle down more? Down. Yeah. That help? Yeah, oh, look at that. Now you can yeah. see Kool-Aid. Hey, yeah. Kool-Aid! I know, I know. Uh, we paid five bucks for it. We gave it up for $30. And uh, but of course, my granddaughters want to play with it constantly. They just love it. Then, can you see this Black and Decker yeah. edger right there? <laughs> okay, yeah. Dad bought that for five bucks. Like the 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 man passed away when we went to the this garage sale, and um, you know she just wanted to get you know get rid of his stuff. She said he used it maybe twenty minutes. So Dad's kind of cleaned it up, and we have it up for sale for uh, seventy bucks, I think, on the John Deere. So that was a kind of a nice find. Okay, now I can go into some Hawaiian stuff if you want me to, honey. I, I got your scores ready. Scores are ready? Okay, let's go do that. And we'll finish okay. up with that. All right. Oh, somebody wants to know how you would ship a uh, <clears throat> hockey stick. Hockey stick. Okay, that's just like we do with the polo uh, mallets, everybody. Find those long tubes from the fabric stores. Um, it, it's real easy to do. Uh, in fact, Dad, we showed a demonstration uh, on one of the shows not too long ago with Dad. Uh, because you also these big long round tubes that you use from the from the fabric cut off one of the end. You probably it's probably long enough that you can cut off one of the end, and then you put that piece over the uh, the the part of the hockey stick that you hit with. I don't even know it's called the mallet end. I guess um, <laughs> I doubt it's yeah. called mallet end. <laughs> yeah, but whatever they call them. I don't. I'm not too f familiar with hockey, but that would be the easiest way to ship those. I mean, just, just, you know, like I say, go to a fabric store, see if they got any empty rolls. We go to ours here that it's not too far away from us and we go to them all the time and, uh, and they give us freebies. So, and they're, they're very usable, usable for, you know, different, uh, different, um, different long things to ship. We use them for baseball bats. Uh, we use them for a bunch of different things. So, you know, hopefully that that'll help. All right. All right, right. All Let's right. see. I think I'm ready. Okay. What do you got first? Looks like Latasha Tudor. No. Okay, backing up. No. Yep, yep. Okay, we're starting with the quilted bed jacket. I, I showed this uh, on our show a few weeks back, and um, well, maybe a couple of months back. And this this was this was a beauty, you guys. This was a vintage quilted bed jacket. I paid four dollars for, and I got my full asking price of thirty nine ninety nine. It was in excellent condition. Still had the tag, uh, the Sears tag on it. So you know, uh, I didn't have to negotiate at all. So that was a really good buy. I like that one. And I think last night on your haul, you and, uh, uh, see, who was talking about Bessie Johnson pajamas? You, Jason? Or was it Nadine? No. Nee. I forget. Nee. Hey, yeah, and I just sold mine. Um, I've had these for a while. They didn't move as fast as I was hoping, but I only paid two bucks for them. I took her offer of $20. She offered me, in fact, $20 and a penny because she wanted <laughs> to round it off. And uh, But they did sell, but they, they were in my store for a while. But they still sell. This, this was a great surprise. <clears throat> this is a beater lac blanket that I showed uh, on our show back a little bit ago um, that I paid $3 for and got my full asking price of $64.99. Nice. So that was, nice. yeah, wasn't that a nice one? Now, th this, this is ironic, you guys. Jason, show the picture with the crack. I wasn't going to put these up. I was trying to find a, a, a lid that wasn't cracked. But I told Dad, ah, I'm just going to put them up. And there's the crack. And they bought them. You know, I mean, I paid a dollar for the things. I sold them for 18, you know, with the crack. So they, they still want them, even though, hey, I, you know. I, I think we ahead. had this discussion last time. Where's the picture at the bottom of your products? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think we did. Dad didn't do it. I know. All right. 
Yeah. A weekly thing now. You're I, hey, I got to get on that, man. I keep telling him, always the bottom. I've told him. <laughs> I'm going to have to get out my whip. You're going to find a new photographer. <laughs> He's fired. I know. Uh, fresh produce, again, <laughs> um, you know, always sells you guys. I wish I had more fresh produce. And someone in the chat said that, uh, um, you know, she had a bunch of fresh produce stuff to list. I mean, get it up, you guys, uh, especially with summer coming in most areas right now. Uh, it sells so well. Uh, you just, you know. Let's see. I'm just trying to find the oh oh Spring Hill reseller said it was good for me uh, of uh, hanging the blanket up so they could see the full you know picture and the size of it. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're uh, the people are asking what are you using to hang it with? Just two uh, clothes um, pants hangers, yeah. skirt hangers. Yeah, 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 yeah skirt hangers. Uh huh. And then we we have to use our wall there with the doors, so that's the yep. way you to do that. But yeah, fresh produce. Don't, don't ever pass up fresh produce, everybody. Always sells well. Um, this We've talked about uh, finding items from uh, closed amusement parks. And one of our favorites was Joggle Lake Amusement Park, uh, where I grew up as a kid. was there for years and years and years. And um, and I sold the, uh, it's one of those mugs that, you know, the freezy type mugs. They're brand new. I mean, they still had the tags on them. And, uh, and see, Jason, here I had a multiple. I had three available. And back then, I, Mom didn't know how to do it. so. Oh, you know, uh, uh, let yeah. me say this about multiples. If it's uh -huh. something like these t-shirts I have or like the uh, fabric mom has that is not something that someone has to have, yeah, mm -hmm. do do the multi-variations. If you have, like, say this mug was a really hot commodity. The way I do yeah. my tiki mugs when I have more than one, I just list one at a time. If it's something okay. kind of rare and collectible, you want to make the customer feel like, oh, crap, I better buy this now. With that fabric... You, you want to list all the yards at once, but with, with the collectible, you just want to sell one and then click and click, click relist. Okay. All right. And then that's what I did, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So that's good to know going forward. Yeah. Oh, somebody else went to a jog a lake. Slick flip. There, silk flip. Oh, that was such a, here, I'll tell, a, I'll tell a quick story, a, a big daddy, quick story. So mm -hmm. I insisted my father take me on the double loop of jog a lake when I was 10. So that would put it about the summer of 81. And he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, 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 take me. It was also called the Dutch Shoes. So if the people know what the Dutch Shoes are. No, no, or, no. Or double, double loop. loop. Wasn't it double loop? Okay. Was, I, okay. I, I, two things. Okay. All right. Sorry. As we went down the hill, you know, and the, oh. and the double loop was a small coaster. Just a tall enough hill to go through two loops, go around twice, and then you're done. As we went down the hill, I passed out cold. <laughs> so, you know. There's dad looking at me passed out cold and uh, That's right. <laughs> what do you do? You're strapped in going for the ride. And I think I came to in the middle of the loop. <laughs> and then that wasn't enough for me. We uh, went on the Caterpillar, which uh, goes around in a circle and then the covering com comes over top. So you're enclosed and I'm like, I want to go on that. And dad's like, are you sure? And uh, scare the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> I was screaming the whole ride. That, I'm sure that was a fun day for mom and dad to chocolate. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it was a great park, and uh, I, it, it's they're still talking about trying to redo something with it, but it's been sitting vacant now for years and years. But don't yeah, pass yeah. up amusement I items. I mean, amusement park items, guys. They do sell well. There's a lot of nostalgia there for people that, you know, went to them as kids. Okay, what do we got next? And Cheryl Hinton had a good uh, tip about the fabric. Uh, yes, you should not cut it until someone orders. Oh, because if yes. someone orders 12 yards, you don't got to do nothing. Exactly. And they might want the whole thing. Do not pre-cut. Um, God. Right. This uh, this dress here is the Can Two label. Everybody, very similar to Fresh Produce, and also sells extremely well. Uh, I think it's a actually I think it's a sister company of Fresh Produce. Jason, I have never seen this brand. Oh, my mom has a lot. Uh, I have a lot, and, ah. and yeah, I, I paid uh, seventy five cents. Oh, but getting back to the mug, I paid seventy five cents for the mug. Sold it for fourteen dollars and ten cents. And on this dress, I paid seventy five cents for the dress. Sold it for full price. Of twenty nine ninety nine, so yeah, be on the lookout, you guys, for that label as well as fresh produce, uh, because they're they're just they're just made almost identically. So I I think it's a branch, I really do. Identical. Okay. Identical. Yep. And uh, someone has been asking that in, in, in your show with Nay and ours, should I wait till Christmas to list items? No, <laughs> list them now. Here I just sold a Christmas ornament. Yep, yep. 
Uh, this was my last one by Tasha Tudor. She was uh, a famous uh, author, and she made uh, Christmas cards, and they just did a lot of things with this woman back in the day. Google her if you want to get some information all about Tasha Tudor. I was actually able to meet her once in person, and this is the last of my Christmas ornaments uh, by her, and uh, she's very, very collectible. Um, so remember that name, everyone. Mark that one down in case you find her in your huntings when you're going out and about. Um, again, I sold that one for twenty-two fifty. Chase, I got an offer. It was my last one, and I let it go. Now this next one, this I am just rocking it on this one. This Japanese kimono, I had gotten an offer and I countered, and they, you know, didn't come back. And then two days later, I sold it for full price of the $89.99. And when I purchased that gang, I bought it for $4.99. So that was one heck of a, a flip for me. Um, and it's just a beautiful outfit. I mean, as you can see, it is a Hawaiian label it, uh, as you were going through those, Jason. So um, yeah, that was that was a good one for mom. Time for a lesson. <laughs> yeah, what I do. This, this tie but, is called the OB, OBI. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. Let me mark, mm. make, make that note. Yep, I did forget that. Obi and by the way, the end of a hockey stick is called a blade. Thank you, chat. Oh, thank you, chat. Appreciate it. All right, what do we got next here? Oh, okay. Uh, my Porco mug. Um, this is the last one that I had up for sale uh, from our local uh, Tiki Lounge uh, here in Cleveland. And I did purchase them. I had to pay 90 bucks to get these, you guys. Uh, and this last one I sold not for the two fifty, but I sold it for two hundred and ten dollars. So still a nice uh, flip in in money. Um, so and I, you know if you can do that with your uh, local tiki uh, lounges in your area, and I know Chicago has a bunch uh, of good ones, and especially y'all you know, three dots and a dash. Uh, you know if you can get your hands on some of their mugs and give them a flip, uh, people are willing to pay. So you know that was a even and even spending ninety bucks. What did I make? A uh, uh, hundred and uh, hundred bucks. I made a hundred bucks. Yeah, I mean that yeah. was great. Yeah, uh, toes on the nose. Another decent label of Hawaiian shirts. Uh, I only paid uh, two bucks for it and sold it. I did sell it for twenty two. Uh, you know, he gave me an hey, offer. Where night. is the back picture to this shirt? What? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna send you guys back to remedial eBay. What's going on with you two? Isn't that, isn't that the back right there? Well, it's just a close up. Uh, a there's close a hole in the lower back. Well, I can't prove yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, come on now. Right, 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 right. We're supposed to be yeah, teaching well. people. You guys are going backwards. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get on to my photographer. He's not. Well, the, how job. about how about the lister going? Hey, I need more pictures. Yeah, I do send them back upstairs sometimes. I, I do. Right. <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, this Hilo Hattie Mumu was uh, still a uh, new with tag, you guys, from the 1970s. It was this beautiful condition that I bought for forty bucks or for for four dollars and sold it for the thirty nine ninety nine. As you can still see the you know the hang tag there. Very cool. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty one. Real pretty. If it been mom's size, I would have kept it. Uh, the neck, there's two items that come together, everyone. Uh, Jason will show these back to back. If you'll remember, I hit a garage sale. I found these. Dad was surprised that I wanted to buy them. I said, no, I think these will sell well. Remember, Jason, when we did the uh, uh, the beer the beer signs, uh, the beer flags? And yep. I think the other one is the Peels one, which is PBR. And uh, so the same guy bought them. So totally, I spent $6.66 for the two flags guys and sold them together for 60 bucks. Okay, so why is Pep's Blue Ribbon in both your titles? Uh, it, because it's it's in there on the thing, PBR. Where? Uh, it's in the fine print somewhere. Really? Uh-huh. Get out. Yeah, it, it's there somewhere. I, I don't, of course, I don't have the flags in front of me anymore, honey, but it was yeah. there. Because I, yeah, I, I, I checked them both when I, when I did it. All right. When I did it. Yep, 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 yep. All right, I believe you. Yep. P uh, P uh, okay there. So okay, and then this this one's this my last item. This one finally sold. <laughs> Jason's always told me go after you know the plushes, and I bought this last summer at a garage sale, and um, it was it was a Taz, and he was kind of dusty, but you know I gave him a good cleaning, and uh, he cleaned up really nice. But I sold him the other day. I paid three dollars for him and sold him for the full price of ninety nine ninety nine. So that was great. And the tip there is make sure you do Tasmanian Devil and Taz, T-A-Z. Taz, yeah. yeah. Maybe I should have. Everyone. Put, yeah, you probably yeah. should have led with a Taz. Yeah, I was thinking, I thought about that too. But hey, it sold for 100 bucks. so who am I to say? I know, I know. I mean, <laughs> you know, so that was, that was really, I was really excited about that. All right, so, you got a couple more things and we'll get out of here? Uh, well, uh, just the things, if you want me to show the Hawaiian things that I found, okay? Yes. All right, okay. Um, yes. 
this was at the antique mall that dad and I went to when we were in Finley, Ohio, uh, over the weekend. And, um, you know, you can always find things in antique malls too, guys. Don't be afraid to, to do some digging because they are there. I found this Hawaiian shirt and by, I label a lot of us know, Ray and Spooner. And it's for the Miami University Hurricanes. So I've got all kinds of keywords that I can use here, you know, because we, we're, we're, almost, we're double branded here, so to speak, you know, really between the Hawaiian shirt and Ray and Spooner and Miami University Hurricanes. So it's a size medium and um, it's in really nice condition. And I paid $14 for this. So I did pay a little bit more than I usually do, but I think I can flip this for around 40 bucks, Jason. Uh, I think more. more honey, what would you go for? I put up for a hundred. Hundred bucks. All right, start yeah. there. Okay. All right. I will. I will listen yeah. to the man. That's for sure. Oh, <laughs> here's my other. I I couldn't pass it up. It's not worth hardly anything, really. But it was seventy nine cents, and I thought I might group it with something else. Overpriced. You know? uh, for seventy nine cents. <laughs> that that is that is called the Leilani. It's the top ten I know. most common tiki mugs. I know. Of I know what time. It is. But I just hated leaving it on the shelf. You know how mom is. <laughs> I can't, can't, can't do it. But here's here's my better find. Okay. Yeah, that. Now pay attention because yeah. this this is the yeah. bomb diggity, and you never find it with both uh, pieces. No, no. In fact, I, I did do some research on it. Uh, there's a naked one for sale that doesn't have his uh, tap of cloth or the lay. Um, I found uh, one with just the his bottom, no, no, no lay. Most of the time, the lay is not there. That's the key to this one, everybody. Well, tell everybody what uh, it is. This is uh, a Jim Beam decanter from the tenth anniversary of the Hawaiian Open from 1975. Okay, and I guess you call him a Minahuni, right, yep, Chase? Yep, 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 yep. The Minahuni man, and uh, it just. I paid thirty nine dollars for this, everyone. But I'm thinking I'm looking at over a hundred bucks, Jason. Um, yeah, you never you never find it with a skirt and with the yep. lay silk because the the elasticity in the lay would just disintegrate into nothing. The lay falls right. off, and then yeah. Here, let me show the back of this a little bit more too, so you can see the the labeling yep. on here. But one uh, one sold without the lay for seventy four ninety nine without the lay. And like I said, the lay is one of the key components here, everyone. So yep. if, you, if you do see these guys, um, you know, unless you find one cheap for two bucks that is missing the lay or or his bottoms. But um, it was with United Airlines, by the way. There's that. Very cool. So, yeah. So I, like I said, I spent big money, but, you know, I hope to get some big money. So, you know, I should at least more than double my money on that one. And I think that's it. All right. So yeah, speaking of... Said. Tomorrow, I'm doing a specific tiki haul because I went to a garage sale on a Friday night. And then Saturday, I was running some errands and I wasn't planning on going thrifting and I was driving past the saver. So, you know, my car just automatically turned in. And luckily it did because that day seemed to be tiki day at the uh, an, um, thrift store. And so when people say, geez, I never see it, uh, it's there. It's there. You just got to hunt a little bit and you got to know what to look for. So I've been prepping everything because. Here's just a, here's the start of the stuff I'm going to show you. And what I'm doing yeah. is I am, you know, even though we do this already, I'm breaking it down exactly what I paid per item and some stuff I'm keeping some I'm flipping, but what the going rate is on eBay for each item to show you how much crazy money is there in Tiki. And, uh, so right. that is here. I've, I've got the graphic to make it even easier. That is uh, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., same channel right here, uh, cool. Jason T. Smith YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So that is Monday, tomorrow, 10 a.m. on the uh, West Coast, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. Nay has also found a few uh, tiki things uh, in her thrift stores of Philly. So we're going to be talking about that. If you're in my secret beach tomorrow night, we have a webinar with my buddy Dan Wright, who is a huge Star Wars collector. And since it was May the 4th this past week, we're going to talk all things Star Wars, collectibles, what to look for, what to pass. Tomorrow night at 6.30. And then our normal show, Thursday, May 11th, will be on uh, 6 p.m. on the West Coast and 9 p.m. on the East Coast. So that's everything coming up for this week. But yeah, tune in tomorrow. I'll show you my Tiki haul and uh, tell you a little bit about just kind of how I stumbled across the garage sale. And the key is, I didn't buy it from a Tiki person. Like, if you came to my garage sale, you it'd be understandable that you found Tiki stuff. This person wasn't a tiki person. They just had some tiki things around their house. And uh, there's a, I, 
I spent 180 bucks and I think my stuff's worth like $800. So nice. Yeah. 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 That's really good. So uh, we have tomorrow morning. Be, yeah. Yeah. We have a question in the chat. They want to know the name of the material on the little man. See, I call it tapa cloth, Jason, but what would you call it? Oh yeah. Tapa cloth. Yeah. T-A-P-A -A, everybody. Tapa yep. cloth. Okay. There's a Polynesian way of, uh, they, they stamp, they, they pound out the, uh, the material and then they stamp it. And so that is tap a cloth. Yeah. So trying to see if there's, uh, any other questions that we missed. Okay. Tap a cloth. Yeah. And, and that's yep. T T A P A one P one P on that, Chris. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Tap. All right. So I yeah, gotta go get ready because okay. I got uh, uh well plus the cabs are on soon. So we gotta go, we gotta go. Yes. That's why that's why yeah. we did the show what we did. Because we, <laughs> we gotta go watch the calves. So go calves. I'll see y'all yep. tomorrow. Secret Beachers tomorrow night and everyone again on Thursday. Yep. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See ya. Bye -bye. Uh, we'll be on go next calves. week. We'll, we'll let you know the time and date. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it is will. Mother's Day next Sunday. So gotta celebrate my mommy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Love you all. Thanks for watching, gang. Bye-bye. Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't do it right. What? For oh. being thrifty of over, for selling past <laughs> rates rate to being thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg, and we're out. And we're gone. Bye-bye. <laughs>